Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a powerful wizard whose name you've probably heard before, just not in the context of Harry Potter, and that wizard's name is Merlin. More specifically, we're going to be addressing the question, did Merlin, the most powerful wizard to have ever lived, attend Hogwarts? Before we get started, it's certainly worth mentioning that the enigmatic figure known as Merlin has existed for many, many years across many different tales and fables. Most notably, Merlin is known for his prevalence in Arthurian legend, in which he is associated with King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. The tales surrounding King Arthur, Merlin, and his knights have been subject to copious adaptations over the years, but one thing seems to be mostly consistent across all of them. Merlin is a powerful, wise sorcerer, and a trusted advisor of Arthur. According to legend, this version of Merlin is said to be the son of a noblewoman and an incubus or demon, and that shortly after Merlin's birth, he was baptized and cleansed of his demonic inheritance. This explains his supernatural powers. But while Merlin was very well established in Arthurian legend, it didn't take long for him to also crop up in Harry Potter. For you see, Merlin, the wise and powerful, also existed in the same wizarding world as Voldemort and Harry Potter. Right from the beginning of the story, we hear mentions of Merlin's name in different contexts. Merlin's beard, the common wizarding expression, the Order of Merlin, a wizarding achievement award named after a society he founded, and even on chocolate frog cards. Given Merlin's heritage and prevalence in modern wizarding society, this leaves one big question wide open. Did Merlin, the most powerful wizard to have ever lived, attend Hogwarts? Originally founded in the 10th century, Hogwarts has been the home to many powerful witches and wizards over the years, and you might not be surprised to hear that, yes, Merlin did attend the famous wizarding school. However, it's also worth mentioning that the Merlin from Arthurian legend is said to have existed prior to the 10th century, which means that Rowling's version of Merlin came into existence a little later. When Merlin actually went to Hogwarts is unknown, but if I had to theorize, I would say that it was somewhere near the beginning, making him one of the school's first students. So now that we've established that he went to the school, we need to answer the next big question on people's minds. Which house was he in? As it turns out, he was a Slytherin. Historically, Merlin has been the source of much pride for Slytherin House, as they were in fact the house that produced perhaps the most powerful and definitely the most famous wizard in history. What's interesting about this, however, is that historically, Slytherin has been the house most closely associated with prejudice towards muggles, particularly in that era. Merlin, however, did not share these same beliefs, and was actually a strong believer that the Muggle and Wizarding Worlds should coexist. While attending the school, Merlin proved to be an exceptionally gifted wizard, particularly in the realm of charms, earning his title the Prince of Enchanters. This is supported by Merlin's very own chocolate frog card, which was created to immortalize him after his demise. Medieval, dates unknown, most famous wizard of all time, sometimes known as the Prince of Enchanters, part of the court of King Arthur. Merlin, of course, eventually graduated from Hogwarts, but did return later in life to paint his own portrait, which he hung on the walls of the school. Did you all know about Merlin? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, Merlin's beard!